Let's do a quick second pass just to make sure that no one's like got sniper ammo I'm forgetting about. So you specifically have handgun ammo, which is what you're supposed to have. Oh. You have pain relievers. Let's tra transfer those over to our medic. You have cigarettes. More pain relievers. Let's go ahead and just give those all to the person that, that whose entire job is to use those. That one said he assault rifles and heavy weapons. Let's transfer those over to the character that's currently holding most of that stuff. Yeah, you got all my scary guns. Energy weapons, assault rifles. Oh, more pain relievers. Give those to our healer. Shovel. Shotgun. Yeah, there's some characters that could probably use a shotgun. That'd be a good... That might, might, might be a good medic weapon from a defensive standpoint. Wrist rocket. Other stuff that doesn't necessarily matter. Yep, Now, so now we have uh, two trauma kits, eight pain relievers, and we're all out of... We're actually all out of our uh, normal medical kits now. Could be going better, as it turns out. Oh, hello. Someone's ready to level up now. Our laggard, who was knocked out last time. Echo One, this is Ranger Command. Go ahead. Over. Echo One, I believe a field promotion is in order for one of your team. Congratulations, Echo One. You've done well. You bet your ass I have. All right. Let's upgrade this dude. That's not how you do that. Mixing up my buttons again. All right. Skills. Nope. There we go. Um. Mechanical repair. Next skill will give me handyman, which does something. Let's see if I can find handyman on here. So that could give me some important information about whether or not I want it. Uh, no critical failures when using mechanical repair. All right. My top priority should probably be to get skills that help me in combat, because we're not doing so great at combat at the moment. How about bonus to a chance to hit, maybe? 5% base hit, 6% base crit. Those are good things to hear. We're gonna have to go with that for this turn. Alright. Congratulations, you're slightly better with guns. I really hope that's true, because you're disappointing me a little bit. Alright, so he's already like halfway to being the next level. Oh, this is one of those games where you keep counting up your base experience forever. Compared to in increasingly higher uh, top experiences, it, it doesn't reset to zero each time. So everyone's a fair bit away. Our healer is the person that's actually the closest to leveling up again. Which, you know, that'll be good. It'll keep letting her level up her healing abilities and, and keep getting more skill points. So there could be worse outcomes. Was there anyone else? Are they, those the only ones that had loot on them? What's this? These look like the outflow pipes of the reservoir. If anything ever happened to the reservoir, it could be bad news for the houses below. This woman was demolished. Let's see, the reservoir. So if, if could that be a way of getting, getting rid of the bad guys? Let's see, let's take a look at this since it apparently can't be unlocked. I, I Sally finds a lock. Did I give anyone lock picking skill? Which is the one you'll find right over here? There we go. Quick scan. Let's try to remind myself if I gave that skill to anybody. I did not. Good to know. Just needed to review that little detail. They're talking about a reservoir and pipes and how it's, it's bad for everyone if I if it disrupts. I wonder if that's one of the tactics you can use. This man looks like he was stapled to death. That's unfortunate for him. I'm gonna go ahead and oh. I'm gonna go ahead and stagger my saves. Big crate. Carefully examine the crate scout. Uh, Sally finds the lock. Breaking. Oh, makeshift mortars. Inaccurate but deadly. Can I use that for something? The mortar can be fired uh, uh, with a pull of a le large lever without taking time and skill to aim it. It'll likely fly up towards the town. Probably don't want to do that. The mortar remains idle. Someone will, with highly trained demolition skills could adjust its aim. Oh. Let's see. First of all, the, how, how, how highly trained is highly trained? Like, tra highly trained for being this early in the game? I have two points in demolition. I, I just saved. Let's give it a shot. 
This might end poorly for me, but I could use an advantage because these fights are a little tough. Oh. Would somebody please kill that fucker with a no! With a mortar? He's really pissing me off! Um... With your ordinance spent, the mortar won't be of much use. Who did we... I don't know who we hit. I guess we'll find out as we approach. Something seems buried here. Oh, hello. Sal Scary Sally's using a shovel. It's a mine! Surprise! Oh, I moved a little bit, sorry. Gotta watch that shovel icon fill up. Ooh, SMG and handgun ammo. And is if that's snuff, why is your Geiger counter clicking? Uh, it's a scorched snuff box. All right, well at least we got a little bit of handgun ammo. That's something. Ooh, perception. Ooh, that's not okay. Should have read the thing. Uh, landmine hits Scary Sally, inflicting po eight points of damage. Shit. Damn it. What's the point of using having a perception skill if I'm too stupid and I run into it? That was my bad. Oh, where are you going? Just climbing on up there, huh? Alright, let's take a look. What are you finding up here? Oh, that's the whole area we were in before. This might have been where we fought a moment ago. Maybe. Can we drop... Do we want to drop down at all? Or can we even? Probably, I uh, don't know if we actually can. Might just be a, a place, to, a uh, advantage to attack from. Alright. Let's take a look at the map, which is up. There we go. And we zoom in using something. Alright, so, local map. We have water source, Jezebel's house, wasteland. I guess we just keep hitting north. There's still a, there's a general sound coming from this direction. Woman's is sawed in half. Alright, so, n note to self, next time I see something get uncovered by a, a uh, magnifying glass, don't get really excited and run directly into it, because it might be not good for you, as it turns out. Deck of cards, and we got a shotgun. Shotgun ammo. A lot of ammo for the guns I, I didn't bring along. Luck of the draw, I guess. And uh, at some point, because of the luck of the draw, I'm going to be drawing a weapon that has no ammo on it. Alright, we just perce we just perceived something about this? Is there a mine behind it? Carefully examining the fence, Sally finds a lock and an explosive trap. Okay. Um... Can my, ex can my demolitions expert do... Brute force demolitions. There we go. Pronto uh, cross succeeded in using demolitions. So did I disarm the, the trap? I assume. I assume I just disarmed the trap because I used demolitions, right? So now I can use brute force. Come on. There we go. There we go. We disarmed the bomb and br and uh, brute force the, the door open. What could, anything cool around here? Uh, carefully examining the crate, scary, uh, sc scary Sally finds a lock. I should have really had a lockpick character, huh? The save has no mechanical tumblers or wheels accessible from the outside. Its locking mechanism appears to be controlled by a high-tech electronic system. Alright, Sally finds an electronic lock. So you're the more perceptive character. Can you find something better? Electronic lock. Oops. Careful examining the crate. Finds a lock. Nothing new there. Alright, I don't have a lock pick, unfortunately. I could try to brute force these things if I want to potentially kill myself. That'd be exciting, right? Let's see if that works. Brute force. Man, fuck your crate. I need sniper ammo. You understand? Success. Did anything break? I used brute force. Cool. What'd I get? A uh, heavy weapon. This may have been a ma... a ma do once, but it's, uh... been rechambered for 5.56 and doesn't have many original parts left. 
Reduced combat speed. 5.56 millimeter ammo. It's called a heavy weapon? Is it a sniper rifle or just a heavy? It does say heavy. Let's see, point blank. Chance to hit's reduced by 20%. Oh, the optimum range is 5 to 15 meters. Anything above 15 or below 5 it has bad hit chance. Alright. I mean, I'm definitely going to take it. Assault rifle and heavy ammo weapon. It's all the more reason to try to use that stuff, huh? Well, I don't have a lockpick, so should I just try to brute force this stuff? That might be a bad idea for... S oh, not available. Computer science. No computer science skills in this party, as it turns out. So we're not going to get much out of that. Oops. Sorry, kept pressing X. I gotta scavenge the hell out of this area, because my party... Could use some supplies. SMGs and handguns, cool. I'm happy to find it, but I definitely also would like to find some sniper ammo for my sniper. Alright. We got there was some stuff worthwhile there. It was worthwhile trying to disable that that trap. Let's see, let's do a quick detour back here real quick, because I this had a lock on it. It doesn't say that it's uh so you have a lock, huh? I know what to do about locks. Hopefully I don't break the thing. Critical failure. Fractured. Oh no. Scary Sally has critically failed using brute force. She's now afflicted by tortured Tootsie's effect. <laughs> so she... Uh, broken bone. Ow, 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 your toes. Oh god, ow, ow, your precious toes. Minus two to brute force. 0, 0.00 combat speed for like five minutes. Can I just try again? No, that's 0% success. Oh right, minus two means that she has zero brute force now. Because she started at two in the first place. Well, I just have to move forward then. Where are you? I need that ammo five minutes ago. Where is Stella indeed? Also, where am I? Tempting just to stand around until the Tootsie's effect goes away. Uh, what's over here? We have two paths to choose from. Do I have any... I don't really have any indication. This, was, this seems like the upper path, though. Like, maybe I'll have a vantage point if I go this way. If it wasn't for the sounds of gunshots and explosives echoing off the canyon walls, this tranquil spot would be very nice and peaceful. Oh yeah, and when I, when I hurt myself, it said, A coarse cracking makes everyone's skin crawl, but the cacophony didn't come from what you were kicking. Indicating that it's my foot coming off. Well, not really, but, you know. Whoa, dude, pretty crazy energy going on here. Alex H. Chil he's, he's, he's got a name, he's probably not a raider. A slender man with a baseball cap covering his hair and droopy eyes stirs before you. He smells like a skunk humping his leg. Humped his leg. Crazy, man. Some really negative energy going on around here. It's really messing with my chai. Chai? Yeah, man, you know, my energy and life force, my inner balance, man. I usually drink a cup of chia, t <laughs> of chia tea in the, mo in the morning to keep it soft and mellow. Wait. Oh, man, haha, <laughs> I totally got that backwards. Man, <laughs> chia, man. My chi's all messed up. Ha, <laughs> ha. Well, you're all like, whoa, strange compadre. What are you talking about, right, man? I was all like, my tea's all wrong. I drink my life force in the morning. Ha ha ha. Oh, man, doesn't it feel good to laugh? See, man, this place is a desert, desert of happiness. Except for these record dudes. Those have some real negative energy going on here and freaking me out with their explosions, explosions and stuff. Negative energy? You mean the fighting? It's all wrong, man. Mercury is all retrograde and not, and totally not happy. So I know communica uh, So I know communication isn't flowing down the communication stream to Mother Nature's life force. But these guys are really angry. They need a serious hug, man. How's the hug going to help? Man, we need to come together and love each other. We are one, man. One universe, one soul. I love you, man. I love you. I see you, man. I love and appreciate. You as a soul in the universe. I love them, and they need to know that. I don't know if love will make them stop. So much negative energy, man. You need a hug too, I can feel it, man. It just makes me weep for humanity. I need you to, I need to get out of 
I need to get out of here and free myself of this black energy. Can you help me, my dusty compadre? What help do you need? My soulmate is up there in Highpool. Oh man, Highpool. What a disappointment nom of nomenclature, right? You know? <laughs> well, uh, what was I saying? You are talking about your soulmate? Such a beautiful soul. You know, we were one, man. Yeah, totally. Uh, so I need you to take him. I need you a note taken to him. We need to escape the bonds as negative energy, like, together. Sounds like ours should be... Uh, souls like ours should be spreading the love rather than being brought down with this deep shit, you know? We need to get out of here. I need you to tell him up at th there in the bewitching pool of highness that there th the life is harsh down here, man. Just like it is up here. Uh, up there. And, uh, it's time for us to take a trip to make a better place, you know? Can you do that for me? Uh, sure. I might never follow up on it, we'll see. We've got a note from Alexi. Radical! Here's a note to take to them. Who exactly is them? I told you, man, my soulmate. We're one, man, we share the same soul. You'll know when you meet him. You'll feel it in your soul. Names or labels that bind us like a prison. Release yourself, man, and look upon others as beings of light. Not a metaphor, is it? of confining definition. Whoa, confining definition. Confinition. That's deep, man. That's deep. You feel that? Oh, I feel something. Far out, man. Far out. Alright. So cool, man. May you get high in the pool of life. Alright, so let's just take him out back and drown him, because he's lost his mind. Plants? These tomatoes have been fertilized with biosustainable compost. Because of course they have. Can I go in his house? No. Oh, there's a house on his, there's a little chair on his roof. Volatile fuel tank sits preca uh, precariously before you. Can I climb on top of this place at all? Nope, so you can't inspect that chair. Hey, chicken. Bark, bark. All right. Bag of trash sits off the side. One person's trash, another's treasure, or possibly just trash. Is it, is it just trash? Medicine pouch. There are herbs in here. Oh, well, there's herbs in there. At least there's that. Hey, man, you're welcome to whatever I have, but pay it forward, all right, compadre? Yeah, yeah, I'll do what I want. I'm trying to save the world and shit. You don't, you don't tell me what to do. Oh God, camera. Okay, you need to chill a little bit. <laughs> oh my God, we're all gonna die. You all right? A shivering man mumbles to himself as he rocks in place. He's clearly lost his wits. The wreckers are killing everyone. We're all gonna die. Hey there, fella. We're here to save everyone from the wreckers. What? What? Oh my god, bless you. Bless you, rangers, for helping save us. How can I ever repay you? Saving ain't cheap. What do you have for payment? What? Seriously? We're a little hard at the moment with the whole town being destroyed, if you haven't noticed. You actually want me to pay you? Your readers haven't changed a bit over the years, such a bit of selfish dicks. No offense, ma'am. <laughs> well, I wasn't thinking money, I was thinking like, hey, you got any med kits? That's what I was really, really hoping for, actually. But, you know what, fuck that guy, I'm saving him. Gonna need a bucket brigade at Town Hall! Fire's getting bigger! Carefully examining the safe, Dolores Young finds a working tumbler. Also, maybe we can kick the shit out of it, you know? Sounds like fun. Oh, I, this, I still can't... I still can't brute force. How long is that gonna last for? I feel like we should be almost done with that. 90 more seconds. I can't wait that long. I'm out of here. Oh, camera. You're real far away right now. Based on the angle, it gets stuck up on the ledge. If it wasn't for the sounds of gunshots, something about... Yeah, tranquility. Alright. Well, that was a fun little adventure. There's too many of them! Apparently. All right, encounter begins. I, at least I have at least I have a, people on my side this time. That's a lot of bad guys out there. Oh wow, partners taking hits. All right, how are they doing? You guys. Uh, they sh I assume that the, that the red icons are my allies. So there's three of them that have 15 hit points each. There's two there. Where's the last one? Oh, is that guy dead? Cool. Oh, there's not that many bad guys. Oh, there's, there is a lot of bad guys. 
Oh, there's the other teammate. He's all the way out here. He's dead. He's gonna be very dead. At least he's a minor distraction. What's that thing say? Is that teaching people? That's teaching people how to how to tie knots. All right. Well, that happened. Ninety-seven percent chance. Forty-seven percent chance. I gotta make this count. It's my first round. That's the whole point of this character. Bam! One shot. One kill. That's the whole reason you exist. Thank you for doing your job correctly. He's my sidekick. I mean, he's an ally. Uh, just probably just take cover, right? Yeah. Let's take cover and be ready to shoot next round. It's probably gonna be it for now. Should I reload? I can't reload anyway. I'm out of ammo. Crap. I'm down to my last sniper shot because I, I keep not finding more. It's gonna be all. It's gonna be all down to my melee and pistol characters soon. I might hide out with my allies over here just because they can take hits for me. They can take hits for me and and they can uh. They can they can deliver more attacks. That guy's. Wow, they're gonna keep missing him? Nope. <laughs> Not quite. Oh, he's dead. Alright. Bludgeoning her so hard her ancestors felt it is how the game puts her that, that character's death. You know, so politely. Alright, so I'm a little afraid that the moment I run out to try to attack, attack this guy, those people are gonna come over and shoot me, but I gotta go for it. Ooh, that's some good luck. All right, can I hide? No, I can't make it very far, so let's get behind the cover. I'm gonna wanna stick around my allies over here as long as I can, just because at least they can, uh, they can at least take shots at my opponents. So let's, let's get cover over here, so I can see them as they approach. I have three AP left. This guy has a lot of ammo left over, I think, so I should probably go for the ambush to maximize the effectiveness of my turns on the off chance they attack me. Is there someone I want to heal right now? This guy's not doing great. Let's do a little bit of, uh, yeah, pain relievers. Oh, I used it on him. That's not what I meant to do. Shit, I should have paid attention to who I was using it on. That was my mistake. Still, I could use it on this guy now. Oh, I'm out of AP now. I wasted it on the wrong person. Oh no! And now I can't go back to where I was trying to stand. I made a terrible mistake. Alright, well... Just try to get behind cover. Can you can you target anybody? You can't, and you only have one shot left, so I want to make it count, but you're also going to get a reduced hit chance pretty soon here, which is also not great news. They're really far away. Alright. I just waited out for a moment. Oh, I did not know... I, okay, camera. 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 You chose poorly. Alright, I, I can't... Okay, let's... There we go. Let's do a top-down camera, then it'll stop freaking out. What's happening is it, it it automatically detects collisions and goes through them. So when it's at a lower angle like this and it goes in a certain directions, it'll like shoot off in the, that direction. So let's just let's do this. Top down camera. All right. So should I, I should probably work with these characters because they'll be they'll be ample distractions for my team. So I guess we'll move forward as a group. So I definitely don't I definitely want to fight with these guys because that, that that makes it like a four on four. For, uh, four on four or four on five fight as far as armed people goes as opposed to being uh, otherwise they're otherwise if they kill those guys and we're not there we, we get outnumbered still though large numbers of enemies makes them unpredictable so I'm at risk of them doing something I really don't want them to do uh, they're over in that direction that's probably good cover for now I don't want to press ahead of my allies because I want them to take hits so I'll trigger ambush. Hey, healer girl. Let's try this again, as I was originally trying to do. Alright. I definitely need to buy more healing supplies next. Although I'm hoping as my characters improve individually, that they'll also become more effective uh, at not dying so fast. And that'll be pretty handy for them to do. Alright. Hopefully from here I can get a nice vantage point to shoot somebody. It's, it wants to know if I want to attack my opponents. Okay. 68, 68, 68, 68. Let's see here. So... This weapon has an ideal range, right? Let's look at its exact ideal range. Uh, minus 30% when they're... 
in f at point blank range. So you, it actually has the same range all the way up to 28 meters from five to 28. Is my it, when I move my cursor around? Is the distance shown on the screen? Oh wait, we're probably doing D and D rules. Each of these is probably. Let's see. I don't think that my accuracy is going to improve as they get closer. So I'm going to want to take a shot. Does any of them have a gun? Oh, camera. They all have melee weapons. So let's just target one of the closer ones. Please. Yeah! An actual successful shot. Did I just... Did I trigger an ambush there? Alright, they have not approached yet. I should probably wait for them to come for me. Yeah, I'm gonna wait. Here they come, and I got my ambush off. And now they're bludgeoning my new friends to death. Yay! Wish me luck, everybody. <laughs> it's a little weird. I wish that my, uh... I wish the co-op er, the co-op NPCs had yellow health bars or something, just because the, uh, the red makes them look like enemies. It's slightly distracting. I should probably focus fire the guy with less hit points. Because if I can take him out, that's one whole less target. And we're getting... Oh, yeah. I'm landing hits, so I'm getting that bonus to hit chance. That helps ensure that I'll keep hitting. This character's gonna get scary pretty soon here. Alright, we're back on this guy. He's got no ammo. So... I genuinely don't know if there's a thing to do with him. I can't reload, right? Yep. Swap weapons. Yeah, I'll just switch to his other weapon, his, which is his fists. <laughs> that was a waste. He's just gonna hang out, I guess. You know? Go back behind this box. Just trying to get shot. Come, oh, co-op partners, I need you to land shots. It'd be real handy. Uh, your medic's not heated, needed right now. There we go, co-op partners. You guys are all landing hits and stuff. Alright, they're all in... So... One of them's down. They're all directly in melee range. Let's just go for someone that I think I can hit. This guy will, this guy will do. Bam! And just like that, we're down to two targets. And I can't hit them from here, so I'm going to just go back and cover. To try to avoid getting her shot next. A few co-op partners show up, and suddenly this is so much easier. It's almost like we outnumber them or something. Also, it's almost like I did attacks, and then those attacks landed instead of missing over and over again. 85% <laughs> chance. My, <laughs> th This is good synergy. Psychopath is, seems to be pretty great for having a uh, pistol, because they attack. They're, you're able to easily attack multiple times a turn. Bam! He's just going to keep getting scarier with that stat. Let's see, can I see his modifier right now? He's up to 20% bonus hit and 10% bonus crit. Damn. He's not likely to be able to shoot this round, though, huh? Let's see, should I just head closer? I can't get closer without getting, uh, not being in cover, though. So let's stay put. I'm actually, I've actually avoided having these two guys die so far. Alright, Sally's up next. Let's make a mess, Sally. He was so nice to just walk directly in front of us like this. Oh, Sally, you squanderer. Make a count. There you go. That's how you play. Let's back away a little bit so he has to waste AP approaching. And he did. This is bad. Oh, we missed. Is Oh, don't take my final shot. Oh, he, he, he missed too. 38% chance to hit. Well, that just won't do. No siree. In fact, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna just run over here and flank him. 46% chance to hit. Come on, man. If I go, like, right here, can I, will, you let me hit me, will you let me hit him then? 86% chance to hit. Execution style. <laughs> Thanks, Rangers. Go get the rest. Alright, Rangers. Are you guys just gonna stand here? No, don't just stand here. Come with us. We need your help. Seriously, running out of medical supplies. Um, assault rifle and heavy ammo. Junk. Scrap. Ooh, field medic item. Awesome. Scrap. Uh, scrap. 
Heavy ammo, junk. Alright, well we got a new healing item at least. Know your knots and how to use them. Was this like a schoolyard? We got SMG and handgun ammo, awesome. Ah, they will. They do not want me to have more sniper ammo. I think what I'm learning here, it did warn me about this, that sniper ammo was rare and expensive. Oh, another body I to collect from scrap. Uh, I just thought it'd, be, it'd cost me a lot at the store though. I wasn't thinking about, oh yeah, I might just not be able to find it in general for a while. So I'd probably want to train him in some sort of sidearm or the shotgun, for example, to supplement that he might not be able to use sniper rifle ammo all the time. He might even it might even be good to be, make him a character that starts the fight with a co with a couple of really powerful sniper sh sniper shots, but then moves on to using uh, like something weaker but faster that takes advantage of the fact that he has lower AP. Scrap <gasps> sniper rifle ammo, five shots, so good, and a library card. Just keep collecting those library cards, Dolores. Let's see here. Surely you can reload now, right? There we go. I should do that right now. I should just I should manually Oh, you're fully you're fully loaded. All right. That's definitely something I should do after fights is just manually reload the party. Now you know. <laughs> That's their response to the the billboard about how to how to tie knots. Can I loot the enemy the allies body? Nope. The guard tower is riddled with bullet holes. If it weren't for the medical symbols, this would look a lot, a lot uh, uh, this would look kind of cooler. Oh, if it weren't for the medical symbols, this would look like the kind of cooler you take to the beach. Might it contain some healthful items? Sure hope so. Yay, two more field medic items. Things are coming up my way. Oh yeah, quick save, duh. I'm sitting here manually saving, I'm like, oh yeah, you just quick save in this situation. One in the Thanks for saving our our hides, Rangers. But there's more of them slavering beasts around. I know. Come with us, asshole. This place is empty. You coward. We gotta shoot more dudes. Guys, I can't do this alone. I I think I just heard screaming down here. Are the wreckers in? Can anybody hear me? 